All right, so we do have we have the links to the websites in the chat. I see in, I see someone asks about it. Um, I'm curious, Carrie, just the way you speak about websites. What is your philosophy for the reasoning behind, or why it's so important for advisors or an agency to have a website? Is it to drive clients to your agency? Is it for your current clients? Like what? What do you think is, if you could have to say, would be the primary reason behind having a website, updating it, and making sure it looks nice? I agree with Melinda. Um, I think it is more about uh, social proof than anything. The number of leads that you're going to get from your website that are cold leads, I mean, I don't know, maybe, but it's more for referrals. I mean, this is silly, but when I mean, when I moved to Dallas, um, I went on to every website of a, a silly hairdressers that people recommended to me. I mean, you know, that's a hairdresser. People are spending $40,000 on a trip. So even though there's a referral, they're going to go to your website. They want to see, they want to see about the details you have on your website. If your, if your website doesn't have a lot of details, are you going to be detail oriented on my trip? If it's not up to date, do you really know what the latest and greatest destinations are? Can you send me to the Dolomites? I don't know. Um, also, you want to put testimonials on there. You, this is a great place for you to brag a little bit. Any of your clients would be delighted to share information there. It's also a great place to include your links to your social media. So maybe they went to the website just for quick social proof because someone recommended you, but now they're following you. And now you're having, and hopefully they have clicked your option of joining the mailing list. So for me, it is less about the cold leads and more about the reassurances of the referrals that you're going to get from your existing clients. 